Hi sir, uh, welcome to World Auto Forum. Uh, so, how is the market responding to the i20 facelift recently launched? Oh, response is very good. Uh, I think i20 has been a very strong brand for Hyundai, and people are always looking for uh, for an upgrade. And uh, of course, these are initial days, and the response is very very good to say the least. So, uh, when it comes to the production of the car, manufacturing of the car, what are the sustainability steps that, uh, that Hyundai has taken for the same? So, look, we are a very, very conscious about sustainability. So, if you see, of course, you know that uh, in Ionic 5 and Kona, we have two battery electric vehicles. Our plant, you know, uh, we have taken a lot of steps towards sustainability, whether it is water conservation and, uh, so uh, you know, so much of area being green. Even at the dealerships, you know, uh, whether it's water bone paint, whether it's dry washing, whether it is, uh, you know, the solar panels. So I think we really look at all the initiatives from a sustainability lens so that the entire ecosystem, you know, whether it is the plant, whether it is the vehicles, whether it is at the dealerships, we try to really have a very, very comprehensive 360 degree approach towards sustainability. We believe this is uh, our responsibility towards our future generations. And uh, and we can, I was so happy that this was such a big uh, agenda even in the recent uh, concluded G20 meet as well so yeah we are always there as far as our responsibility and participation uh, to really uh, move towards sustainability uh, it's actually great to know uh, so what are the challenges that you face when it comes to the sustainable part in manufacturing as well as the supply chain Look, uh, one of the things which I say is that uh, sustainability is not self-sustainable. So you need to really have a lot of intent, a lot of thought and not really worry too much about the ROI because we as managers generally are very much concerned about, okay, what will be the return? So I think we have to really look at it from a, from a much more broader perspective, much more uh, uh, of a long-term perspective about humanity. Uh, so I think this is very, very important. And uh, so I think... It's, uh, as leaders, it is our responsibility to ensure that down the line, every stakeholder, you know, whether it's your employees, whether it's your partners, they really look at sustainability, uh, you know, with a similar kind of a lens. And they feel that, yes, it is my responsibility to play a very important role. It is not somebody else's responsibility. Because normally what we feel is that anything which is not not benefiting me or I feel is not benefiting me, I think this is somebody else's responsibility. Sometimes I feel this is government responsibility, sometimes I feel it's niche. It's my neighbor's responsibility sometimes I feel somebody auto automaker responsibility or somebody else's responsibility I think all of us as citizens of India or citizens of the world have to see that it is everybody's responsibility and then I'm sure the real movement of sustainability will come so if you ask me biggest challenge it is to really bring in that kind of a responsibility that the buck stops at me buck stops at me and then of course I think it's it's going to be very easy and the balance between growth and of course look stuff. like I said we are all very very ROI driven so you have have to really have a different kind of a lens for for sustainability i think that is very very important